Oh, right. That's something. Guess we'll be taking those uh, provinces in the next war. When everything will be much better uh, sorted out, right? Plenty of supply limit in Melinda. Thirty-five, forty-five, fifty, sixty, seventy thousand. We should be able to take Madagascar. Right there, they went brutalizing my men. Wouldn't be surprised if they just wiped me there. No problem. Stroke of luck. We won't drop the siege progression if I just catch them in time. Right, my big stack gets there on the 20th, which is faster than them. So we'll take care of that. You're running like a coward to occupied land of all places. We'll get you there and then we will. Probably keep you there and figure out what to do with you afterwards. An instant wipe. Yes! We did lose siege progression. <coughs> okay, who still needs troops and where and why? You there, because you're fort level 2, right? There you go, enjoy. What else? Fort level 4. And over here, of course. 3, 3, 2, yeah, okay. Like I said, the fun ended a long time ago. Who wants 3,000 men? Gave one to you. Yep. Sorted. Probably sorted. Yeah. Sorted. You're going to take forever and a day, so these bunch are going to split in half. And if you're a big guy not led by Farente, get to these horrible coastal places. get military access to Congo and Hausa, I could just march down and siege that. Which works for me. And then I find like the 30 stacks over there. <coughs> Jake Jen. Jenny. spotted there. I've got this massive 30 stack of cannons just sitting around doing out. We'll just leave them in Timbuktu, figure out what to do with them later on.
Well, I never did recall you. And they all fall down like lemmings. <sighs> Maybe we should recover that abysmal prestige. Pegu still love us. Corzan still love us. That's good. How free are our diplomats, though? Not free enough. <laughs> Leaving when Jake gets denied from West Africa, coming back for a carpeted West Africa. Jake goes where he pleases. Well, I thank you. I'll do my best. I really feel for this level 4 coastal uh, fort, so I'm going to march all my cannons down there. Not through my own occupied territory. Okay. When I get these gentlemen involved as well in Malundi, which has plenty of force on it, we can take care of this. I will scout it out with a single light ship. In fact, why not three? A one, a two, a three. Holy Ryukyuan Emperor, get out. We don't settle for grey skin around here. Nor do we tolerate those who claim to. Gee, if there's nobody in Madagascar, I'm going to feel like such a chump. And I'm also going to get the cold sweats, because it means there's a uh, 30 stack of Castilians just sitting around. Waiting for me to get uh, complacent. Castile! What are you playing at? Where could you be? What are you doing? What do you want? If I were 41,000 Castilians, where would I be? Oh, we found 10 of them. <sighs> Honestly, though, where would you be? They're not at war with anyone else. Harumph. Are they perhaps stuck somewhere? <sighs> Still, that means these transports aren't doing me any good. We shall get you up to here, where you shall wait for the American expedition also means I can get these troops onto Madagascar quickly and easily. Don't need more than th the sieging force for 3,000. One, two, three. One, two, three. Which means we'll leave behind one, two, three, four, five, six. Get you up there. And the rest of the boats. Uh, they're not enough to pick up the rest. That isn't so good. Well, we will need you here to pick up the rest of them then. Meanwhile, the rest of them, what they can do, however, is be a protective escort for the others. Uh, I'm going to need a quick water break, though. I will be back in just a minute or two.
All right, we are back. I'm more concerned than ever. Somebody suggested Wake Island. Nope, that's just Brunei. Almost wish I had espionage fleshed out so that I could infiltrate their administrator. But that would cost me quite a bit of diplomatic points. Which, funnily enough, we have none of. And if we ever get some, I want to spend it on reducing war exhaustion. Damn, this is all just going far too slow. If they're in Luanda, that will not be a happy occasion. Nupe. I quite like Nupe. Grain on the Gold Coast, as usual. Slaves on Ivory Coast. At least there's grain on Grain Coast. Somebody says I'm super curious about annexing the Danes. I need to make sure that I have a border with Sweden. Um, they are defender of the Protestant faith. They may come to Great Britain's aid, but they may not. Also, these Scottish patriots... Why won't you go away? Oh, you go away this time. Still no conversions by, uh, by France. They don't accept Scottish culture. And I doubt they have anywhere of low enough base tax. Eh, surely Rusalon. Well, no sense worrying about it. Jake, why didn't you flesh out espionage when dip points were not even a number? Uh, I don't think I was in a position to do that when dip points weren't a number. And if I was, then I just forgot about it. But I'm fairly certain there was never such a situation. Nice event, because I actually can't lose any more uh, diplomatic points. Does Jake have a border with Great Britain? I think so. Mm, now that you mention it, I might not. This was a problem earlier on. But for some reason wasn't a problem. That's right, because I can just attack British Columbia. I can enjoy my battle that way. Right, they're all just tumbling down now. This is good. And getting more manpower is also fantastic. 5,000 men a month. Also Brunei. Oh my goodness, you're putting up a firm defense. I'll admit I'm impressed. I look forward to having used my protectorate. My missionaries are almost done. Give it a month or two. Like Sierra Leone down. <sighs> ah, the Highlander. Uh, music from EU3. Island Wanderer. One of the best tracks from EU3. And I'm only completely biased when I say that. <coughs> Curiously, Castile. When I start taking these provinces, I'm going to sort them by 2%. Are they actually all going to drop your at total annexation cost by 2%? Or are you just having what they call a laugh? Oh, we should be golden. The idea is to take all the overseas provinces so that when I come back and attack Castile for a second time, all I have to worry about is this mainland. And maybe a few islands. I'm not going to lose any sleep over the Canaries. And this is going to be a problem, so I'm going to need my troops in position ahead of time. But oh well. Okay, 
get discovered. So support those peasants once again, because I don't want them ruining my day. So once South Africa's all sieged up, is there anything else I really have to worry about? I will want Madagascar down. Perhaps I should expedite the siege by actually leaving in blockades. Poor, uh, Castile doesn't seem too worried about them. Base tax we're looking at here is about four, about three, and about three. That's about four, something, and something else. Yeah! <sighs> Jake, isn't getting Castile's territories in North America going to form a colonial nation? No, because they won't be my cores. Alright, one of you have succeeded. Meaning if I abandon you... Great! Cancelling our other missionary then. And we're also going to cancel our 5% religious unity policy. Make sure it's the 5% one. Colonize Sam Toy. Well, that one should get away and recover abysmal prestige. These are all horrible things. However, got 99% religious unity. Curse this abysmal prestige. If we recall you and send you. Alright, sorry, I meant abandon you and send you. Whew, getting real doki doki there. I thought that wasn't going to work. But it all works out in the end. I'm going to have to colonize Samtoy for that mission to go away. Abandon that, send another. Retrieve religious unity. Three, two, one. If it moves, draft it. And then, on come the two deckers. Unfortunately, it takes so long to build that I shouldn't get any overspill this time. Let's accumulate some money. How much do we actually have to accumulate here? Four grand. So we don't need to have to do it uh, for that long. Let's re achieve religious unity. Three, two, one, and done. The fun ended so long ago. One day passes. We'll get our uprising just to celebrate. Ah. <sighs> What fun. I'm going to do this for a while. I'm going to get my war exhaustion paid back down. I'm going to keep carpeting Castile. Because thankfully this is the, the part where I can just sit back and carpet him for a while. I'm going to also send my troops 
over. Maybe I should leave behind six transports. We're going to send you over here, and you will be the America Expedition Force. I'm sure you can take on 50,000 of them. Maybe. But you'll do it in the next war. And you're not the only troops we'll have. Actually, you can pick up these guys on the way. And we'll make more marks over here, because if we can just assault those Castilian uh, colonies, even better. Otherwise, Castile has provinces here, and when this war ends, and I have all this, I will jump my troops onto a boat, sail them over to Ireland here, well, specifically these boats, Yeah, we'll make a jump for the Canaries as well, so I'll leave some troops there. I'll have to take a note of every province Castile has, so I can annex them in the Second War. People are saying, Jake, that war score with Castile is rather low. I do agree. Part of that is because their colonial nations count towards it, and they have a lot of my land occupied over here. That is certainly an issue. Hopefully it doesn't become too big an issue. Denmark and Austria decided to uh, rock and roll over here. Okay. Bosnia is deciding to reject our attempts to uh, integrate them. That's okay, though. Right, we dragged our heels a bit there, but this war should be over. In fact, Castile should be fully annexed by maybe 1803. 1805 doesn't sound very good, that's only 13 years left to go, but with Castile annexed I'll have all of this on my side, and I will waste no time doing my two war job on Portugal, and I'll have a lot of big friends to help me out there, and probably whilst that war is going on, I'll dig my heels into GB, and Sweden, and i got a few bits of rubbish to scrape up, otherwise it should be okay. But I'll get this done over the weekend, the uh, the religious unity trick. I won't be streaming EU4 again until I think Wednesday, probably same time next week, because I never normally stream at the weekends. I uh, I work 12 hours. Whew, God, almost nothing has happened. I hope you feel like you wasted your time just as much as I did. And take a wee break. Thanks for joining. Hope to see you again soon. Just. Uh, don't don't ever settle for grey skin, you know. Grey skin should look like this. None of it.